Okay, Coach Haverdell. So it looks like it's going to be a semifinal matchup with question mark behind me. Right now, is yeah. your, your scouting and doing an interview? Is that, is that true? I am. I'm multitasking. Let my <laughs> wife know I can do that. <laughs> She's right there. I'm going to let yeah, her know. Yeah. Hey, Todd can multitask. He can multitask. He, he can multitask, okay? He's doing it right now, okay? Okay, so you guys, we don't know, right? This is actually a close duel. It's 21 14 right now. Yeah, it's tight. Liberty's doing a good job. I think Wazer's still in the driver's seat, but we'll see. Coming into this, you know, you guys are always in a really tough draw where you're always going to have to beat Wadsworth. You guys are always paired together as the 2-3. Yeah. It's not easy. You guys beat LaSalle first round. Were you satisfied first round with how you guys performed? Yeah, I thought we also great first round. Um, you know, LaSalle's a good team. They're well coached. I thought our kids had a ton of energy. We we flipped two results um, that we had lost previously. And so anytime you can flip a result, um, you know, from one was from last and one was from December, you feel pretty good about that. So, yeah, I liked our I liked our effort. But we got we got a, a big one in front of us. Was the 65 out here right now? Uh, yeah, bumping a little bit. I think we're at 65. Well, that's though. what duels are, though. You bump, yeah, yeah, you jockey, yeah. you do that, right? Gamesmanship, who's going to present first. You but got it. you, Clay said, Coach Clay Wenger, said you guys kind of woodshedded him at their place is what he said. His word's not mine, but you guys got the best of them in, that, in a big duel that you guys do a home-and-home, home, or not a home-and-home, home, but, like, there's a big duel sometimes that's at your performing arts center. Yeah. Is right? You guys do a big – it's an yeah. event. Yeah, yeah. Um, he said that you guys got at him a little bit. Yeah, I, look, the, the, the score looks that way, but anybody that knows wrestling knows that we won four one-point matches, and we we won another toss-up match. And so you, 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 any one of those start going the other way, and that score is drastically different. And so we were really happy walking out of their gym in January, but we weren't, um, uh, you know, we, we knew that we would probably hit them again. It would probably be on this day upstairs in St. Ed's gym, and um, they're, they're capable of beating us. We need to be ready to go league you guys won the league yeah. right they were runner up to you in the yeah. league and it's just like this crazy you guys see each other up to seven times a year i think six to seven yeah, times a year a lot, with iron man potentially yeah, right, right? right, right. <laughs> it's so wild to me but does it get old it does um you know i think we're we're kind of bitter rivals but in the summer our kids train a lot together believe it or not we get along really well and so i really do like their program and have a ton of respect for them but at some point um you just see somebody too much and um you know, sometimes it's like you beat a guy two or three times and he beats you in this go-to match, you know, the state go-to match or the state semifinal, right? Um, and I guess that's our job as coaches to make sure that we're making adjustments and have them ready to go. Perrysburg doesn't show up. They let Avon Lake take a 80, 79 nothing beating to the Eagles. Um, that kind of is a weird thing. They, they don't show up. How do you feel about Perrysburg not showing up and being in the field here? I think that Scotty Burnett's a great coach, and I'm positive that he's going to do what's right for his team. And so whatever decisions is that they made, I'm sure were to put their team in the best position to win in March. And so God bless them. Not pissed at all. No, I'm worried about our kids. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if more people worried about their kids, maybe we wouldn't have so many people angry about that, right? Whatever, yeah. People got to do what they got to do. I have no control over what they're doing. I'm positive that Scotty's doing what's right for his team. If you obviously I know that Wadsworth is what you're thinking right now, unless Liberty pulls a rabbit out of a hat behind us. But if you can beat Wadsworth and get into the state finals, can you guys knock off the Eagles? Well, I can tell you in 2015 when we won it, we weren't supposed to win. In 2015 when we won it, they were, they were better than us. Um, but we got some things going our way, and, and we were able to come out of there uh, you know, winning. And so uh, is it possible? Anything's possible. Uh, we've wrestled them in the finals the last two years, and they've put us on us bad. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We're going we're gonna, to uh, worry about getting through Wadsworth, and then uh, – Hopefully we have to or, worry about or, or Liberty. Or Liberty, sure. Yeah, yeah. They're going back and forth over there at 65. So we'll see. You didn't miss anything. I didn't miss no, any critical, good. like, good. dudes doing illegal cutbacks. That seems to be the, the new craze. I saw now. that on your Everyone's, uh, Everybody's Instagram. illegal cutbacks are the thing now, I guess. You yeah. teach them a lot, don't you? No, no, no. It's all you guys teach. Come on. <laughs> okay. You got anything else for me? No, man. Just, um, I don't know. Like we taught our kids, I hope they appreciate being able to walk into the St. Edwards gym and, um, have the ability to wrestle for another title. Let's, let's hope we get that done. Good luck to you guys in the semifinals, Coach. Thank you.